Hi, welcome to another episode of Webcam Sessions. This week we're going to be discussing a few techniques that you can use to take a strum pattern and make it sound much brighter or much darker, depending on how you want to spin it. In the past we talked about using accents within strums, and if you haven't checked out that video before, it's linked in the description. And while it's not needed for today's video, it'll help as you're working through some concepts of, you know, accenting strums, playing some things louder versus softer. Now in that video, we just talked about essentially playing louder or playing softer without altering the actual technique that's used. But today we're really going to be diving into how we can strum and how we can adjust our techniques to create these different types of sounds. So let's go ahead and grab our ukes. And to start here, let's just do a normal strum and normal, right? What does normal mean with a strum? Everyone might strum a little bit differently, but typically the most uh, common method of strumming with an ukulele, is going to be the index finger straight down over the strings using the nail and coming back up with the fleshy part of that index finger. Right? So using this basic strum, let's go ahead and play a, a C chord to start, which is just our ring finger here at the third fret of the A string. And what I want to do with this is I want to do a pattern that I think will really help exemplify this sort of technique as we learn it. So the pattern we're going to play here, again, we're just starting with our index finger doing a normal strum. So we're going to go down, up, down, up, miss, up, down, up, all right? So again, wanna make sure that on that miss for the down, we actually miss the strings but still move our hand down. So just a little bit faster, it looks something like this. Down, up, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Now let's go ahead and try practicing it going to a different chord. We're going to go to what's called an F add 9 chord. Just take your index finger, place it on the first fret of the E string, removing your ring finger off the A. And let's try that pattern again. Down, up, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Very good, right? So when this is done at full speed, if I do, let's say, two patterns on each one of the chords going back and forth, it would sound something like this. Pretty cool sound overall, but it's also pretty uh, indescript, right? It's not, it's not super bright, it's not super dark, and what if we want it to kind of reflect a certain way? What if we're playing this and we're singing a song with these chords or something where we really want the ukulele to be very quiet, right? Well, we could use some sort of finger picking pattern or something, but what if we wanted to still strum it and still do the same rhythm? Well, the trick is the nails of our fingers create a brighter sound and the pads of our fingers create a darker sound. So when I go with my down strum, normally I use my index finger and I get that nail in there and that creates a darker, or excuse me, a brighter type of tone. And if we want that darker tone, what we can do is instead use the pad of the finger. Now we can't strum with the pad of our index going down, that would be kind of awkward. So what we'll do is we're gonna take our thumb and our down strum will now be used with the pad part of our thumb. So it looks something like this when I go down. And when you listen to this, compared to this, it's much darker, much warmer, much more mellow in terms of its tone, right? So if I do this as my down strum now, but I still do my up the way I used to, which is with my index finger coming up, I can create this sort of sound of down, up, down, up, miss, up, down, up. Right? That's that same pattern now, just making sure that instead of my index finger going down across all four strings, I'm going to use my thumb. Right? So let's go ahead and try playing this. I'm going to do two sets on the C and two sets on that F add 9, and you can hear how much it changes in terms of its sound. cool, right? And I went back and forth between those chords once each, but you still get the sort of sound that's being created. It's, it's much, much more mellow, right? So now what if we want to make it brighter? Well, if we want to make it brighter, we use more nail. So we introduce our index finger again on the nail going down. And when we come back up, instead of using the fleshy part of our index, we're going to use the nail of our thumb. So we start to hold our fingers a little bit more as if we were holding a guitar pick is, is almost how it feels. And you can see that my nail going down can be followed by my nail coming back up, 
All right. So now if I take that same pattern and I use my nails going both directions, it sounds something like this. Much, much brighter, right? You can hear that I naturally want to play it a little bit faster because that sort of brightness tends to make it a little bit more aggressive and the speed kind of follows with that, right? So I'm going to do this again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth between the, the more soft sound of my pads of the finger as well as going into the more nail driven sound so that you can hear just how dynamic this technique can make our strumming. Now a couple tips with this, you'll notice that my hand doesn't look exactly the same as it's moving both ways, right? When I'm using my thumb and doing that down strum, I tend to like having my fingers more open as they move across the strings. This is just from a hand balance standpoint, it makes it a little bit easier for me. And when I go down with my thumb, I like to come down about a 45 degree to more parallel. I don't like to come at that 90 degree angle, I like it to be much more relaxed coming across all four strings, coming over right around where the fretboard meets the body. Now as I bring my hand back up after that down, you'll notice I'm gonna bring my index back up in front of the thumb. I try to not do it so that the thumb is going down followed by the index also from behind like this because that creates a lot of unnecessary motion, especially in the elbow area as we do this. By opening up the hand, we can get a much more consistent movement. So that makes it a little bit easier to work through. Right? So that's how I like to do it with the softer technique is having the hand a little bit more open and a little bit more grazing the strings with the thumb at that 45 to parallel as opposed to perpendicular. But as soon as I start using the nails, I'll kind of close my hand, get these fingers out of the way, get these two again like I'm sort of holding a guitar pick. And as I go down with the index finger, I'm using the nail of the finger to go down. And I like to go just a little bit more close to the sound hole than I do with my softer strums. I like to be more up here to make it softer or down here to make it brighter. So you'll notice I'm going to be a little bit more down with that down strum. And then when I come up with the thumb, I'm coming up at a little bit steeper of an angle than I went down with the thumb, right? So it's a little bit closer to that 45 to 90 degree angle as opposed to like with the down strum, more the 45 to parallel, right? And that up strum with the thumb is tough to get a good tone with. Uh, the nail oftentimes will kind of click off the string, so it takes some practice. But finding that angle that works best for you can really help that. Okay? So here's the brighter strum and how it sounds. Here's the warmer strum and how it sounds. Right? So both of these techniques, eventually you want to become almost a subconscious type of technique where you, you just naturally start to use the warmer technique when you want something warmer and darker and use the brighter technique when you want something brighter. And it's pretty fun to be able to experiment with them to find a, you know, the best songs that they work with and even getting multiple dynamics within one song can be a lot of fun. So let me know how you get your, your favorite sort of bright or dark sound in the comments below if there's a technique that you enjoy. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And I uh, also want to make a quick plug that uh, we've got the ultimate ukulele strumming course that's available on the marketplace on ukulele underground uh, they just went through a whole relaunch of their site and it looks awesome so if you haven't checked it out already and if you're not already a member of uu plus uh, check out the link below to join today i'll see you guys next week for another episode of webcam sessions <laughs>